Hi everyone, it's me, Karen, from Abstract Impressions. I'm sure that you guys have probably been wondering what happened to the Seneca Lake Project. Of course, everyone saw up to phase six in which I poured the um, background colors on and it sure seemed like it was an amazing piece. And I was so thrilled with it. I thought it was beautiful until I came to the point where I had to remove the tape. And I learned a very valuable lesson, never use cheap painter's tape. I used blue cheap painter's tape and the resin seeped through the painter's tape into the lake throughout the entire bark on both sides, which was something that my customer was very adamant that he wanted the live edge on both sides. I did everything I could to try and salvage the project. I sanded and sanded and sanded and got to a point where I thought the bark was salvageable, where I actually repainted it with acrylic blacks and browns to try and make it look like bark again. Um, and then I went out and I got um, the, uh, the epoxy clay and used that to border the lake in the bark and tried to re-pour. Well, needless to say, it was a disaster. So the piece, in essence, is unsalvageable, which is really, uh, it was a, a real shame. I put probably 16 hours worth of work into it. Not a ton of resin, but some resin. and But just a lot of heart and a lot of thought and a lot of, um, a lot of everything. And it broke my heart, the fact that that piece was unsalvageable. But we learn from our mistakes. And I guess when you're learning this craft as you go along, um, there's going to be bumps in the road and you're going to learn new things. And so one of the biggest things I learned is to never skimp on your tape. I'm using the uh, most expensive frog tape I can find uh, for anything that I use from now on. Um, on my wood projects, I'm using Tyvek tape. And so my option was to call the, call the client, return the deposit, and forfeit the project. Or, um, I still have until the end of this month, so I had the option to give it another try. And I came upon an ad on Facebook, mm -hmm. on Facebook Marketplace, a gentleman not two towns over from me, about 18 miles from here, who happens mm -hmm. to have a sawmill and was advertising wood slabs. So I ended up, I picked up this beautiful, mm -hmm. and I mean absolutely, oh my God, mm -hmm. this absolutely gorgeous piece of walnut. And this is going to be um, the piece that I'm going to make into Seneca Lake. I'm going to turn this around and I'm going to show you this piece. If I can figure out how to... Maybe I'll just show it to you this way. This is... I don't know if you can see that or not. Can you see that? This is this piece of walnut that I picked up. It's right here. It's got a lot of shadow to it, but oh my goodness. This thing is going to be gorgeous. Of course, the piece is going to have to be cut down and sanded and all of that. But this is going to be a beautiful piece. And Seneca Lake, the Seneca Lake project is going to go on that. Um, the routering is going to go all the way through. Uh, instead of just being routered down um, a half an inch or... Um, I think it was I think it was a half inch or a quarter inch, whatever it was. This is going to be routed all the way through, and the Tyvek tape placed on the back, 
and then the lake poured from there and I am playing with the idea of putting LED lights on the back side around the border of the lake. Um, the customer has told me in emails that he wants to keep the piece as natural as possible with um, this piece of walnut being such a gorgeous piece that has reds and blues and all of that in the grain. I'm going to go ahead and just um, pour it clear. I'm going to pour the lake in blue. I'm going to pour the rust clear. And I'm going to put the, and I'm hoping to put the lights on the um, little uh, LED lights on the back. That way he can turn the lights on and it will illuminate the lake. So, so that's what's going on with the project. So, just wanted to kind of fill you guys in. Tonight, I am going to be working on a project that I haven't worked on in a while. Do you guys, I don't know if you remember this geode piece that I was working on. I don't know if you guys remember this piece. Yeah, that piece kind of took a back seat when I got the uh, commission piece from New York. Um, I'm going to work a little bit on this piece tonight. I'll go ahead and record it, and I'll probably post that video sometime tomorrow. So, But I just kind of wanted to fill you guys in and let you know what was going on and letting you know that I haven't gone anywhere and that I will be seeing you. And uh, just to remember, don't give up. We learn from our mistakes, and uh, some of them are kind of painful. And that was a painful one for me. So um, hopefully the second attempt will be ten times better than the first. God, it can't be much worse. <laughs> so you guys all have a good Saturday night, and I will be posting a video working on this geode uh, tomorrow. So take care and have a good night.